Yeah, I know. Some guy walking around like, hey. Exactly. <laughs> oh, what's going on over there? <laughs> or the noise like that. from uh, Automation Fair. Uh, my name is Arvind Rao and Don Busek. I wanted to welcome you to your first Automation Fair. That's right. Thank you very much, Arvind. Uh, so as you said, I'm Don Busek. This is my first Automation Fair. I appreciate the invite. I mean, the place is incredible. There's a ton of buzz, so much excitement. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been very impressed with the kind of almost a vision of how the industrial landscape will change and how it's being painted here at the event. It's yeah. been awesome. No, welcome. We're glad that you and the entire PTC team, many of you are here today. Yes. Um, we signed the agreement June 11th. Uh, since then, we've done a lot of work together. Yes. Your thoughts on things we've done and how the partnership has progressed so far? Yeah, I mean, it's really good. So I break this down a couple different ways, right? I think about it this way. Um, this is a world where if you read press announcements around IoT, there's 50 done a week. Yeah. Most of them are meaningless, right? We've talked about how with Blake, your CEO on our board. I mean, this is a very meaningful partnership. But I think if you, if I was a prospect or a customer, I'd want to look even a level deeper, right? I'd want to say, okay, you know, do you have a shared vision? Do you have an integrated roadmap? How well, how well do the cultures align? Do the, do the teams work together? Right. From my perspective, internally, all of those things are moving, right? And when I look for data points for how it's kind of working in the market, with customers already buying and uh, the amount of demand for our combined suite of products, right. it's, uh, it's been pretty incredible. Yeah, no, I would agree. I think we've done a lot of really good work very fast, yes. which has been exciting. Yes. But what's more exciting is the value we're going to bring to our customers. And so from an automation perspective, and I look at where we've been and where we're going, I mean, 
a combined offering. Uh, we just launched Innovation Suite uh, yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and a combined offering, when you look at the value in it, connecting all these disparate sources of data from the factory floor to different quality systems and you know, maintenance systems, bringing all, bringing all of that together in one common pane of glass. Yeah. Uh, having applications that you can stand up very quickly on the ThingWorks platform and adding value to customers. Uh, having an analytics platform now that you can build models and execute them all off the same platform. Yeah. I think when we really start taking that out to the market and some early customer validation that we already have from the wins we just, uh, uh, we've had in the last couple of months, uh, I think it's, it's, a, it's a really exciting time and uh, it's really up to us to get this uh, portfolio together yeah. uh, and make progress. Your thoughts on uh, how things are coming together and what you're seeing from the PTC side when you talk to customers. Yeah, I mean, it's really good. So, uh, a couple things. You mentioned it earlier, right? We just launched yesterday the Factory Talk Innovation Suite powered by PTC. Right. This to me is really cool. Again, it, it illustrates the combined power of our two companies, right? Most agreements, you don't, you don't see a combined offering. What we've got here is five products right. jointly brought together by our combined company and launched together as one suite. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. So when you talk to customers, here's what I'm seeing. Uh, resounding, almost positivity, right. right? I don't know if positivity is a word, but I'll work with it. You just made it up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, uh, for a few reasons. Mm -hmm. The first is, I mean, just think about um, this concept of digital transformation, right. right? So IDC did a study, they said $1 trillion with a T is being invested in uh, digital transformation this year, mm -hmm. right? with the vast majority of that being in manufacturing. So there's a ton of investment, but people aren't really sure, you know, what company should I partner with? How should I align? I want to do my transformation from hardware through engineering all the way up to the executive level. How do I do that? Right. To me, this is the value of our combined suite, that it doesn't really matter where you want that digital transformation to occur. Right. It comes across through our combined suite. Again, from the hardware, through the engineering, all the way up to the kind of VP or CEO level. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Yeah, I think, I think two key points I'd mentioned based on what you just said is, you know, I think two key differentiators when we look at our offerings. One is the domain expertise. Yeah. A lot of companies can do, you know, data transformation and analytics, do things in the cloud, things yeah. like that. But without having real domain expertise, knowledge of the process. Yeah. You don't know what to do with the data, you don't know where to apply it, and you don't know how to make sense out of it. And I think that's a big differentiator uh, when, when it comes to this partnership. Yeah, no, completely agree. You hit on process, right? Uh, I think a lot of companies right now, they're seeing their competitors and their peers invest in digital transformation, and they don't really know what that means. Right. It's kind of a nebulous phrase. I'll talk to, uh, it's funny, I talk to a customer, I talked to their VP, their newly minted VP of digital transformation. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, yeah, look, I got this new role, I'm really excited. And then he said, Don, you gotta help me though, I, I don't really know what digital transformation is. is yeah. uh, and so I think the way to break it down is like this. You know, if you look at a company, there's the products, there's the process, and there's the people, right? Mm -hmm. And so, depending on the company and where you want to invest and what industry you're in, what vertical, you might want to transform one or all three of those things, right? So when you look at it from a product perspective, and you say, listen, I want to do digital transformation with the products, right? Meaning, I want to embed an IoT and sensorize, let's say, my cars, right? Mm -hmm. uh, automotive manufacturing. Now, if you want to do that, imagine that that car, you see the commercials all the time, right? About how it's got sensors, so it's braking for you, et cetera. Right. But not only that, it can transform how you engineer the car. Right. Because all the data around how you drive, the fact that you drive too fast and you, you know, speed through <laughs> no, stoplights. I always lights. drive at the speed limit. Of course, yeah. of course. Uh, but all of that data can flow back to the manufacturer. They can change the way they design and engineer the car based on how actual customers are using it. I mean, it's transforming how, digital transformation to me transforms how products work. Yep. You think about the process perspective, right? This is a, um, there's a lot of different ways to transform your process. Mm -hmm. But here's an example uh, from a customer that I know pretty well. So his, they're a con consumer packaged good cus customer. Okay. Um, historically, so they make, uh, in this scenario, they make diapers. 
and they put like the image of a character on those diapers. Now I have three kids. Yeah. yeah I will tell so you. I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try to put a diaper on that's got a character that they don't like. Like right. it does not happen. Yeah. It's two in the morning. You're miserable. Pick your they will not, that's exactly right. right. So they were picking the images based on you know typical kind of feedback and user groups, etc. Right. Now what they did though was they said, okay, in this world of social media, mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull all the social media together, aggregate it, and understand what's trending, right? right. And so instead of doing Elmo on the diaper, yep. uh, or Big Bird, I'm gonna do Princess Anna and Princess Elsa, right? Because right. So they took all of that social media data, fed it into their lines, and real time, yes. changed and transformed the images they were putting on the diaper. So there's a kind of a process example of right. digital transformation. And then if you think about people, um, this to me is where augmented reality comes into play, mm -hmm. right? Uh, let's imagine uh, we're both service technicians. Right. Now you're an expert, you're an expert at everything. Yeah, you, that's you right. You need no yeah, help, right, yeah. right? I don't need any help. <laughs> uh, I'm the junior tech. Right. You know, um, there's a million different SKUs out there. I don't know how to fix something. Right. You know, I haven't been trained. I'm new, new to the job. I'm not gonna read the manual, right? Imagine if I simply put my iPhone up over that device yes. and it screams to me, you know, here's augmenting it over the view of the device. Right. Here's the instructions on how to service that equipment. Here's how to change it, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And it's put a quality control checks in. No, Don, you're turning it to the right. And so it's blinking red at me. Oh, I got to turn it to the left. I mean, imagine the efficiencies you drive from right. a people perspective by, uh, with digital transformation in yeah, that way. When you bring new workers into the, in, into the workforce, yes. they don't have training and yes. how quickly they can get up to speed and, and being productive. That's exactly uh, right. Super critical. You talked about diapers. My other favorite topic is beer. <laughs> and nice. uh, we nice. did the same kind of example. I usually don't mix the two, by the way. But yeah, <laughs> well, bad things can happen. <laughs> um, but uh, we, we, can, we can do the same beer example of, yeah. of putting customized labels on cans. Yes. If it's a Super Bowl party or say you're hosting a party and you have 25 people, you can have Don Busek beer, yeah. you know, uh, a custom run. But that happens because you can connect now the design environment to the process environment. Yes. Right? And really connect those two environments together. And you know, that's what we're calling connected enterprise, of really being able to bring that value to our customers and the end consumer. And uh, personalizing. At the end of the day. A couple of other key things that you hit upon, yeah. you know, of running analytics. Right? A lot of people talk about analytics and the cloud gets a lot of, yeah. uh, I would say, you know, uh, hype. hype. Um, now, the cloud has its place. Yeah. I think our message always has been, you know, you need to run analytics closest to the source of data. Yes. Right. So with this new offering, with Innovation Suite powered by PTC, I think the ability to run analytics and, and Rockwell's compute engine, yeah. whether that's the controller, that's the edge, the industrial data center, or the cloud, right? Yeah. Now we have the ability to offer a full suite of analytics uh, to run at the right source, at the right layer, so we can realize value right at the source where the data is created. And I think that's really powerful. Yeah. The other really exciting thing you talked about is AR. Yeah. And, and I mean, um, the amazing uh, things that can be done with it, you know, the whole digital twin concept of having a machine being you know, fully built, virtual, in a, in a 3D model, and then us, us being able to simulate motion axes, yeah. uh, running the control program, and you know doing all the factory acceptance testing and all the testing that happens before you break anything in the real physical world, you've tested in the virtual world. Yeah. The value that brings both to the, the machine builder community as well as the end user community, yes. that's, uh, I mean, that's unheard of at this point, and that's why we're so excited, because that technology is real, and we can make it happen today. That's right. Um, We've talked a lot about the last three or four months. We've got some great customer validation. Yeah. We've got a couple of really good wins under our belt already. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we're operational. Let's talk a little bit about the future and, and I know your thoughts on what's coming in the next few months and, and where we should focus on energies and what really the market and customers can expect from us. Yeah, you know, um, just think about it this way, right? If you're, uh, a VP of manufacturing today, mm -hmm. you're under tremendous pressure. Right. Right. Uh, there's this incredible, think about all the trends you just mentioned, personalization, you know, faster ROI. How do you as that VP of manufacturing keep up with all the demand while still leaning out your processes? Right. right? Uh, to me, this is where digital transformation comes into play. And what I would say is, you know, what to expect. Think about it this way. 
Imagine if you laid down some new hardware, you put in some TLCs, uh -huh. and there was augmented reality built in, instructions on how to install it, how to configure it. There was a dashboard pre-configured built into that hardware, right? Giving you OEE statistics, how, right. how efficiently is it running? Imagine again, when you lay down that hardware, that it's automatically recognized and the display is created, pulling data from that hardware and the other hardware in the plant, creating personalized displays, one for the supervisor, one for the operators, right. you know, one for that by persona. manufacturer, by persona, yes. exactly, right. right? So that's kind of the, uh, the embedding the, hard, the software and the hardware, transforming the way that works and the way it's installed, right? Now imagine, you know, if you think back, in a lot of ways, the way manufacturing's grown up is with almost siloed systems, right? right? You know, I like this system, so I install it here. You like this hardware, so you install it there. The two don't talk, et cetera. Morgan's board. That's right, a buffet yeah. style. Yeah, buffet style. Uh, so imagine, though, that with connectivity, I can pull data off of all of those devices, whether it's new, you just installed it, or it's 40 years old, right? And now I'm creating displays mm -hmm. that are showing me how each piece of equipment is, is performing. Where are the bottlenecks in the process, right? right. When do I when do I need to predict maintenance? When do I need to do down have downtime? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and now as the VP of manufacturing, who's under that tremendous pressure and stress, right? Now I've got a tool to make my life easier. Yeah. So yeah. those displays kind of work, and the and the data that flows works from the shop floor operator yeah. to the top floor VP of manufacturing. So to yeah. me, when you talk, say, well, what's coming? It's that vision of kind of here's all the things we need, mm -hmm. right, to really transform the way my connected enterprise works. Yes, I think, I think great points, and we want to add value to customers, yeah. but I think there's a couple of key differentiators as we look at the future and what we're working on already. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speed, time to value, yes. I think is so critical in this space. You talked about, you know, you go to a plant floor today and you see so many different systems from different yeah. manufacturers. Yeah. They're hard to connect to and get data from. But with this, with innovation suite now, we can connect easily. The time to value, yeah. persona-based graphics, yeah. and, and KPI, user interfaces, um, those are great. And I think our whole goal should be to make things easier for our customers. No question. All about ROI and time to value for our customers. All right. Completely Don, great. great chatting with you. Absolutely. Hope you have a great automation fair. No and thanks doubt. Thanks again for coming. Thank you. Okay, what did you say?